the cunning fox and the clever stork. Once upon a time, there lived a very cunning and mischievous fox. He used to speak other animals sweetly and gain their trust before playing tricks on them. One day, the fox made a stork. He befriended the stork and acted like a good friend. Soon, he invited the stork to have a feast with him. The stork happily accepted the invitation. The day of the feast came, and the stork went to the fox's house. To her surprise and disappointment, the fox said that he could not make a big feast as promised and just offered some soup. When he brought the soup out of the kitchen, the stork saw that it was a swallow bowl. The poor stork could not have any soup with its long bill, but the fox easily licked the soup from the plate. As the stork just touched the soup with its tip of the, its bill, the fox asked her, How is the soup? Don't you like it? The hungry stork replied, Oh, it is good, but my stomach is upset and I cannot take it anymore. I am sorry for troubling you, said the fox. The stork replied, Oh dear, please do not say any sorry. I have some health problem and I cannot enjoy what you offer. She left the place after thanking the fox and inviting him to her house for dinner. Cunning fox and the clever stork story the day arrived and the fox reached the stork's place. After exchanging easements, the stork served soup for both of them. In the narrow jar with a long neck, was she was able to have the soup very easily with her long bill. But the fox obviously could not. After finishing her, the stork asked the fox if he was enjoyed the soup. The fox remembered the feast with him, had given the stork that it was same like it, and felt sorry, very ashamed. He stammered, I had did better leave now. I have tummy ache. Humiliated, he left the place running. Moral, one bad turns, bigger another. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Once upon a time, there lived a lion in a forest. One day, after a heavy meal, it was sleeping under a tree. After a while, there came a mouse and it started to play on the lion. Suddenly, the lion got up with anger and looked for those who disturbed it nicely. Then it saw a small mouse standing trembling with fear. The lion jumped on it and started to kill it. The mouse requested the lion to forgive it. The lion felt pity and left it. The mouse ran away. One another day, the lion was caught in a net by a hunter. The mouse came here and cut the net. Thus, it escaped. Thereafter, the mouse and the lion become friends. They live happily in the forest afterwards.